With regard to the underground in his latest book, Oliver Bullo investigates the role Britain plays in helping the shady international super-rich to launder their money. The publishing date is timely for Bullo, as the world's attention turns to corrupt money linked to Russia. Yeah, I mean, at the moment we're talking a lot about Russian oligarchs because of the crisis in Ukraine, and Russian oligarchs have done very well in London. They've put a lot of their wealth here, they've bought houses here, they've listed their companies here and so on. Um, but really, you know, Britain isn't butler to the Russians, it's butler to the world. So um, all oligarchs, essentially, have become welcomed here, whether those are Chinese oligarchs coming here to buy property or, or, moving, or, or moving money around, or um, Angolans, Malaysians, Nigerians, Egyptians, Kazakhs, Ukrainians. Everyone is, is, is welcome here. So at the moment, there is a reckoning about the damage caused by the, by the Russian money. But... But really what we need is a reckoning of the damage caused by all the money. Um, because this money is often, not always, but often stolen from people who desperately need it by people who really don't need it. And they're stashing it here, and we're essentially providing them a safe deposit box to keep stolen money. And that is clearly a morally dubious way of making a living. He says that Wall Street is more regulated than the City of London. So is the UK government doing enough? The government at least is doing something. It's not nothing, which is good. Um, we can congratulate them for that. But we need much, much more. You know, the Economic Crime Act isn't really an Economic Crime Act, it's a Transparency Act. There is supposed to be an Economic Crime Bill coming up in May, and we're going to need to keep an eye on what that contains. But even if it's a brilliant law, even if it's the best law ever passed, which is unlikely, but even if it were, it still needs to be enforced. And the problem is that the British government has historically been really bad at giving the right amount of money to law enforcement agencies to investigate and prosecute financial crime. That's the core of the problem. Despite this, at a press conference in central London, he says he remains an optimist. I did a, um, I, I, I regularly quote this, but I did a, um, a talk at a school a few years ago, and one of the children said at the end, um, if you know all this about money laundering, why don't you just go and do it? Um, <laughs> and, and I've thought about it at length, and I suppose it's because I'm an optimist, and I hope that, that there will become a time when no one launders money. Um, so I suppose I'm an optimist, and I hope there will come a time when Britain stops being a butler. Mm -hmm. And whether, you know, uh, you know, whatever the circumstances are, I hope that's still the case. Jane Worrell, NTD News, London.